YouTube. <coughs> and then, um, yeah, sorry about the noise. Are we amp? Are we lady? It's going. I'm going to take it in tomorrow. We get it fixed. Great problems. It's not the guitar. Um, that's not right. Yeah, that's not the guitar point. It's not the guitar point. So this is a PRS. Copy of some description. I'm not really sure exactly what's origins. Or, origins. Uh, it's not an, an ACE because this switch, compared to a real PRS, PRS the, the switch is kind of here somewhere. So this one is there. So it's not a PRS. Um, I painted the headstock. I think I don't know how they get away with it. Lawsuit wise, I think that's exactly what a PRS headstock should look like. This one was quite badly. Someone had carved away a bit up here, like at the top. So I had to use some filler on it. Um, it didn't, it didn't, you know, it didn't go up beyond the tuner, so it's not, it wasn't structural. So it's solid, it's got that headstock break or anything like that. The way it's painted, um, just because it looked a bit crappy. It's got some extra holes where it had, had previous tuners on it. At some point, um, it's a set neck. And look at there, it looks like it's a one-piece mahogany body, which I don't even think, I don't think like SEs, SEs have that. Um, got a carved maple top. This. That's just the one piece of maple all, all along the top. But it's not like a book matched figure top. Like PRS normally have, you know, they've normally got like you know, a Les Paul where it's split down the middle and you could like sort of book match. This is just appears to be just two bits of maple. Which don't appear, they're not joined in the middle. If it is two pieces of maple, it might be one. I think that. Like, it looks like there's a line there. And maybe one here as well. So this is one piece, I think there's a strip there, I think that's one piece. Anyway, so I got this in a poor state and I have done it up. Um, it's got, no, it's got the job of putting pictures up on my Facebook page, but it's got the Abalone um, Bird Supply fretboard markings around the neck. Um, yeah, pretty good. Strap type trim, put a push pull pot and Duncan designed humbuckers in it. So this dual curve uh, splits both the cord both pickups to give you the outside coils. Um, pick up switch tone control. They're a wee bit pernickety. The, well, I quite like it actually. The knobs are gold, as is the trim bar and the switch, but the everything else is silver. It makes it a wee bit more different, I suppose. Um, yeah, so. So this is single coil bridge. Oh, my God. 
Guitars, um, there's something, something about them that just don't do it for me. Even like the real ones, you know, if you gave me a five grand PRS guitar, I'd play it for them, they'd sell it because that's just mm, something about them. But I mean, technically, it's great. Oh, it's it's uh, where's my tape? I think it was, it was a, I think it was a Gibson scale line because I don't know if that's normal for PRS. They're not normally 25 inch. It's 24 and three quarters. It was the same as a Les Paul scale. So it's kind of one of those guitars that's pretty much exactly halfway between a Strat and a Les Paul, perhaps. Yeah, so rocking coming up for sale, maybe tonight. I don't know, is it Sunday? Yeah, probably. I'll we'll probably put it up for sale tonight. And I don't think you'll ever find another one the same. Bit of wood in the back. Kind of wish they'd put that in the front, to be honest. Rock and roll. <laughs> 